Hello YouTube and the World Wide Web, this is the Check It Dude, uh, the Check It Tube on YouTube with SniperGaming.org. Today, another GTA 5 video and we are doing the race called the Ultimate Chopper Race, which was created by me. If you want to find this race, you can find it in my profile on social, the uh, Rockstar Social Network. Now we have a challenge up on this race. And I was the holder of the record, and all you need to do to win a sniper gaming rug is to beat my lap, one of my lap, my best lap time, beat my best lap time. And I, my, I think I posted my best lap time with a, a Volatus. And uh, for the competition, for the event, for the mug giveaway, that t time still stands. It's like, uh, Six minutes, 39 seconds, 29 a You beat that and you get the mug. Only the first person that beats it gets it. Everybody else that does it later doesn't get the mug. you got to be the first. And the rule of, of the rule was you have to make a video of it. And I have to see the times after, I have to see the whole video. The times after the video, you know, or at the end of the video, you got to show a little longer so I can see all the lap times and everything. And then you have to make a YouTube video out of it and uh, send me the link. And you can send me the link at my email address, which is rickasniper at gmail.com. But anyhow, I thought I'd try a couple different shoppers. As you see right there, I just hit the bridge. And this is my buzzard. And I thought the buzzard would do really well. I know it will do really well right coming into this part. Because it's easy to stay low with a buzzard. And you just can go full tilt, straight forward with a buzzard. And... Every once in a while, because actually with a buzzer, you're going to start losing elevation or altitude. So once in a while, you just got to let off the forward button. But I thought it would be really easy to hear, and I thought I could break the record with the buzzer because of this, primarily because of this section. And, you know, even though the buzzer is slower in other areas of this race, I thought that we would make so much ground here that we could do it. So let's see what we could do. I'm only going to show you one lap with the buzzer, and then uh, after the buzzer, we do the uh, what do you call it? That big military shop with the uh, hunter, the FH1 hunter, and that was a challenge. We uh, it's huge, you know, to fit through some of those high spots under some of those smaller bridges, uh, through the trestle on the bridge. That that's a fun one to watch, and I'm going to tell you up front that the hunter took the record by about five seconds, uh, regardless of its size. And it's quite a thing to watch. But I wasn't done after that. I said, there's one more chopper I really want to try. And that was my modified Havoc. And, uh, my Hunter was modified too, but it was the, the Havoc. And uh, that was, uh, I'm not going to give it away yet. I'm going to have you watch it. Havoc. Well, I'm good. All right, I'm gonna give it away. The Havoc was amazing in this race. The Havoc is the real deal. That thing is a bad, bad little mother. You should see that thing cruising through here. It is so small that you have a high level of confidence with the Havoc. Um, you, you're you pretty sure you're gonna make it through. It's easier to judge size, distance, elevation, going on things or through things. So I did break my own record twice with two different choppers. But for the month giveaway, you only have to beat that first time of 639.987. Hope I'm raising the right one. And I'm going to end the video on the uh, buzzard here. Because after here, it's all straight shooting, and uh, it didn't do it. The buzzer did not do it. Um, nowhere close. We were up around seven minutes, which is 20 seconds slower than everybody else. Not everybody else, but all of the top runs that I had.
now it's time for the hunter. And I am not going to narrate much here. After this point in the video, I'm going to just let you watch and see the record setting time for this big bad baby. And of course, the havoc. This one was uh, a little harder to get under those tight spots through those tight openings. Less room for error. As a matter of fact, the prop is so big, I think I had some of the cable on the bridge as I'm going up between them, which is not even a, a, a thought or a fear with some of the smaller choppers. So I think it happens right here. These cables that run up the side and suspend the bridge on the left and the right. I think, yeah, I did. I hit them there. And I hit that. Big slowdown there, but regardless, this thing made up the time. It's so fast. It gains elevation so quick. And you know what? This thing handles, if you use that tail rotor for some tight cornering, this thing is amazing. We're coming down into the city here, and there's some tight corners on the, uh, around these buildings. And I wondered how the hunter was going to do in here. You know, I knew it was going to be difficult going up the wash under the bridges because it's so big. And uh, and then after I thought about that, I thought about this corner coming up here, and then the corner after that. Watch this thing. No problem there. And here, I did have a mess up. I think it was this lap. But look at that. Look at that thing. Look at the way it goes right and left so sharp. You use that bumper, those bumpers, and the tail rotor. I think that went through better than any other chopper. Left, right, right, left.
Okay, here we go. With the havoc. This is a bad little mother. Coming up to shoot through these holes here, you just have a better feel for it. You're more confident you're going to fit through it. Somewhere along the line, I do hit something with a havoc here, but even if you're wrong, you're more confident you're going to make it through, even if you don't. So you're able to keep more forward speed that way because you know you're going to plug right through there. This thing is just so nimble and spry. It just you just throw it around and it just reacts and if there's one downfall about this thing it's not the chopper itself it's it's the way they they program the camera behind the helicopter to uh, to react sometimes you can lose sight of your destination because your camera doesn't keep up with how quick this thing moves around there you go almost full tilt going through there I was pretty confident going through there mistake here it turned into a big thing um, but I'll tell you what get back in the air this thing is smoking and it makes up the time I still have a great time at the end of this run and uh, this thing I don't think I hit another thing through the rest of the race and uh, this thing smoked for the entire three laps or well two and a half laps and it just did fantastic I wonder if it would have been any quicker if it wasn't smoking. And I, I, I beat the the record for the challenge. I think I, I think I beat it out by ten seconds, you know, and I, it beats a hunter by about five. Did it really, really well.
And here we come, right down to the finish line, as you can see, this thing did it really, really well. Smoking and all, it still did it really good. Um, for both the course record and the lap record, um, amazing. Um, best lap was uh, 6 minutes, 34 seconds. No. Wait a minute, wait a minute. 6 minutes, 29. There's the course time for two laps, 1306, 195. That's a record. That's a world record on this course. And of course, I know that's going to fall, guys. Come on. Uh, lap. I'm waiting for the lap. 628, 939. That's. So don't forget to like and subscribe.